Hello everybody! Today the postman brought this parcel to my door and it is the QCX mini transceiver. I had ordered it one week ago, exactly one week ago, and uh, today it came here and uh, now I want to show you what Hans from QRP Labs has sent to me. So let's open the box and have a look inside. Aha! Nicely packed with some protective foil around it. Aha! This seems to be, well, this is apparently the housing. And uh, what do we have here? That's the main, the main bag with, with the components and the boards. Ah, this looks like some PCBs. This could probably be the main board. And this little thing looks like the display unit. And oh, we got a lot of nice parts. Look at all that. That's the processor. These are some hardware parts and some electronic parts. The knobs, the pots, and uh, a toroid, two toroids actually. And uh, let's see, what, what else is there? Uh, that's the TCXO that I ordered, which seems to be very useful for the rig. And this is the 40 meter band pass or the low pass filter that I had ordered because I want to build a 40 meter version of this rig. I wanted to show you the detail of this <coughs> housing. It is an aluminum extrusion profile <coughs> that QRP Labs is using here and they have a very very nice laser engravement to make the uh, labeling of the front side perfect and <coughs> some lettering like this can also be found on the side panel and uh, I find it remarkable that uh, all mechanical jobs are done on this unit all holes are drilled and all the uh, gaps here are milled out and everything is really ready for assembly and I find that very remarkable for a kit especially in this price range. So here I am with this pile of stuff and I will try <laughs> to assemble the, uh, the unit now. Here we are with three fully loaded boards, all components, all toroids, everything has been installed and now I just need to assemble the boards and put them together and in order to plug this little unit into the main board there is a connector on this side and I simply plug it in here and uh, then I have the display board which has this little cutout or big cutout in the middle that goes right over this little board here and you just connect this little header on the side so it's going right where it's supposed to go 
and uh, well it looks good I don't know if you can see that in the video but this little board is supposed to go through the display board in in this way so all we need to do now in order to uh, complete the unit is to put some screws in before we do the alignment and the smoke blow test So everything is in place now and in the next video I will do the uh, famous smoke blow test when I hook it up to my power supply and I will try to do the alignment of the unit and hopefully everything will go just as well as it went so far. So uh, have fun building your own radio in the meantime and those of you who don't have one go and get one from QRP Labs. They're really fun to build and I think they're great radios.